If you follow our channel or keep up with astronomy developments, you probably already know that the James Webb Space Telescope is about to revolutionize our view of the universe. In September of last year, NASA released an image from the Super Telescope that caused quite a stir. The image showcased the icy planet Neptune in the clearest detail we've seen in over 30 years. Neptune, one of the least explored and most mysterious planets in our solar system, has finally been revealed in stunning new detail. Before we dive deeper into the mysteries of the blue ice giant, we'd like to invite you to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss any of our future videos. If you enjoy learning about the latest findings in space exploration, give us a like at the end of this video. Now, let's get started with some fascinating facts about Neptune, the blue planet at the edge of our solar system. Neptune is the eighth known planet from the Sun, and since Pluto was reclassified as a dwarf planet in 2006, it's now the last planet in our solar system. Measured by diameter, Neptune is the fourth largest, the third most massive, and the densest planet in the solar system. It's about 17 times more massive than Earth and slightly more massive than its near twin, Uranus. Neptune is composed mainly of gases, liquids, and ice, officially classifying it as an ice giant. One orbit around the Sun takes Neptune a staggering 164.512 billion miles. In fact, Neptune was the first planet to be discovered by mathematical calculations rather than direct observation. Galileo Galilei first noticed the blue phenomenon in the 17th century but mistook Neptune for a star. It wasn't until 1846 that British mathematician and astronomer John Couch Adams, through precise calculations, predicted the existence of a planet beyond Uranus. Around the same time, French astronomer Urbain Le Verrier reached a similar conclusion. Finally, on September 23, 1846, German astronomer Johann Gottfried Gall observed Neptune from the Berlin Observatory, officially identifying it as the eighth planet in our solar system. Neptune's signature blue color is due to the peculiar vibrational patterns in the molecular structure of gaseous methane, which makes up a significant part of its atmosphere. This striking hue also led to the planet being named after Neptune, the Roman god of the sea. Despite its vibrant appearance, Neptune is one of the least studied planets in our solar system. Over the past few decades, observations of its atmosphere have revealed dramatic changes in its structure, sparking great interest and concern among scientists. The first exciting images of Neptune were provided by NASA's Voyager 2 spacecraft in 1989, 12 years after its launch in 1977. However, Neptune wasn't the primary destination for Voyager. The probe was designed to fly through the entire solar system and then enter interstellar space. These Voyager images remained the best we had of Neptune for over 30 years. Even the Hubble Space Telescope, which provided images of Neptune, couldn't match the clarity we longed for. That all changed in September 2022 with the launch of the James Webb Space Telescope. For the first time in decades, we saw Neptune in a completely new light. The telescope captured the clearest view of Neptune's rings in more than 30 years. Its near-infrared camera, NIR cam, provided an image where Neptune appeared dark, almost black, against the background of space. This darkness is due to the absorption of red and infrared light by methane gas in Neptune's atmosphere. Bright stripes and spots in the image are clouds of methane ice reflecting sunlight and appearing almost white. Thanks to this technique, Neptune's fine ring system became clearly visible for the first time. The thin bright line orbiting Neptune's equator indicates atmospheric circulations, violent winds, and storms raging across the planet's surface. For the first time, we can clearly see a previously known vortex at the South Pole and a continuous band of clouds encircling the planet at higher latitudes. Light filtering methods used by scientists allow for the analysis of Neptune's atmosphere, providing insights into its gas compositions and other structures from millions of miles away. Studying Neptune's rings, first observed by Voyager 2, will lead to exciting new insights into this distant ice giant. For astronomers, this marks a milestone in the study of Neptune and provides long-awaited compensation for NASA's lack of funding for a dedicated Neptune probe. As we continue to uncover Neptune's secrets, 
we're reminded that the processes occurring on its surface remain some of the last great mysteries of our solar system. In 1989, Voyager 2 discovered the so-called Great Dark Spot during its flyby of Neptune's southern hemisphere. This was a gigantic whirlwind, similar to the Great Red Spot of Jupiter. In 1994, a team of researchers using the Hubble Space Telescope set out to study the Great Dark Spot in more detail. To the researchers' astonishment, however, the high-pressure area the size of Eurasia had suddenly disappeared. Instead, the scientists found a new dark spot in the northern hemisphere. The fact that this also disappeared after only a few years showed that the enormous storms dominating Neptune's surface are far more short-lived than those of Jupiter. On its surface, the storm known as the Great Red Spot has been raging for centuries in exactly the same place. Neptune storms may be shorter-lived than those of its big brother, Jupiter, but as far as wind speeds are concerned, Neptune is the undisputed king in the solar system. Its storms reach incredible speeds of 1,350 miles per hour. In comparison, the most violent tropical cyclones on Earth reach only about 186 miles per hour, so you really don't want to encounter a Neptune storm. In 2020, scientists were thrown into turmoil. A team of researchers from the University of California, Berkeley, used the Hubble telescope to observe a storm on the surface that was wider than the Earth's Atlantic Ocean. The storm originated in the northern hemisphere of the planet. Since its discovery in 2018, Berkeley experts have been monitoring it annually. In 2019, the storm began to drift southward, moving toward Neptune's equator, where storms usually dissipate. But to the scientists' surprise, Hubble discovered in August 2020 that the vortex had changed direction again and was heading back north. Although Hubble has tracked similar dark spots for nearly 30 years, this atmospheric behavior was something entirely new. Researchers do not yet know what these movements mean or whether the events are simply rare or worrisome anomalies. The largest storm Hubble has ever observed on Neptune was 4,600 miles in diameter. Researchers have been observing the behavior of the storm since 1993, and they noticed that the storm seemed to disappear several times, perhaps actually dissipating, only to reappear not far from where it vanished. Scientists would love to know more about these events. A theory suggests that the storms disappear only superficially but continue to rage in the deeper layers of Neptune. From time to time, these events could then become visible again on the surface. We do not yet know what exactly is happening in Neptune's deep layers. NASA would have to send a probe to the Blue Planet, similar to the Cassini mission to Saturn. This probe could be brought down over the planet at the end of its operating time. During the flight through Neptune's layers, researchers could finally obtain the data they have been longing for. This is still a pie-in-the-sky idea, but it's certain that Neptune will also get its own probe at some point. Perhaps NASA will combine a mission to Neptune with a search for the mysterious planet X, whose orbit is said to be beyond Neptune. Since Pluto is no longer a planet, Neptune is the eighth and last of the major planets in the solar system. However, orbital calculations of some other objects in the solar system have provided multiple hints that there must be another large planet behind Neptune. Planet 9, or Planet X, could be orbiting the Sun in a highly eccentric orbit so far out that it has not yet become visible due to poor lighting conditions. If planet X orbits so far out, its orbital period around the Sun could be up to a thousand years. Theoretically, this planet would only become visible to modern telescopes every few hundred years. Neptune's largest moon, Triton, also offers fascinating mysteries. We'll finish by taking another look at James Webb's brand new image. Surely when you saw the photo, you immediately wondered what that beautiful blue-green light in the background of Neptune was. Well, even though this apparition looks like a brightly shining star, the mysterious green sparkle is simply a moon. This image shows seven of the fourteen Neptune moons known so far, and the one shining so brightly is Triton. Triton is the largest of Neptune's moons and about the size of Earth's moon. Because this moon orbits its planet in an extremely elliptical orbit, researchers hypothesize that Triton may have once been a Kuiper Belt object captured by Neptune's gravity. The moon appears greenish in this image due to the special color filtering of the James Webb image. 
as an icy moon, Triton also perfectly reflects the sparse sunlight. On Triton, similar to Jupiter's moon Europa and Saturn's moon Enceladus, ice volcanism has been observed. There is probably even a liquid ocean beneath the moon's ice crust, so a Neptune probe would truly have a lot to explore in this part of the solar system. Until that time comes, we remain curious about what new observations the James Webb Telescope will surprise us with. It's certain that researchers will now regularly take a look at Neptune with a new telescope, and if there are any new exciting discoveries, you will definitely find out here. Finally, leave us a comment and tell us what you think about the latest discoveries around Neptune and the fascinating image from the James Webb Telescope. We're glad you joined us today. Until next time on Simply Space.